Hello to all. Welcome back to Soma Tutorials. Class Second PUC State Syllabus Multiple Choice Questions. This is the session number eight, chapter ten, inheritance. First of all, what do you mean by inheritance? Inheritance is the capability of one class to inherit properties from another class. So one more definition is also there. Inheritance. To acquire the properties of the one object, to acquire the properties of the another object. This is also the definition of an inheritance. Inheritance, it has a two classes, like base classes and also the derived class. Then what is a base class? Base class is the class whose properties are inherited by another class. That class is called as base class. This base class we can also call as super class and we can also call as parent class. Then derived class. Derived class is the class that inherits properties from base classes. So it is also called subclass and we can also call as the child classes. Inheritance has some of the advantages like reusing the existing code, foster development time, easy to maintain, easy to extend, and memory utilization. So these are all the advantages of the inheritance. So inheritance, it has the different types of inheritances present here. So for example, single inheritance, multi-level inheritance, multiple inheritance, hierarchical inheritance and also hybrid inheritance. So these are all the classifications which is based on the relationship. So there are five different forms of the inheritance present here. So first let me move on to the next slide here. First question, base class is, the options are Option A, subclass. Option B, inherited class. Option C, main class. Option D, first class. So here, base class is what? So in the four options, the correct option is an option B, inherited class. Because base class is the class whose the properties are inherited by another class. So that that class we can call it as a inherited class we can also call it as a base class so that is the correct answer base class we can also called as inherited class this is also called as super class second question derived class is also called as the options are subclass super class main class and all of the above the correct answer will become option A subclass because it is a class that inherits the properties from the base class. So that is we can also called as a subclass. Next question. A class for which object is not created is called the options are abstract class, option B derived class, option C virtual class, option D subclass. So correct answer will become option A, abstract class, because an abstract class is one that is not used to create objects. The abstract class is designed only to act as a base classes to be inherited by other class. So that is the correct option will become option A, abstract class. The next question, the derived class can share properties from. The options are option A, only one class. Option B, more than one class. Op option C, more than one level. Option D, all of the above. The correct answer will become all of the above because the derived class, it can share the properties from. So first option, only one class. That is a single level inheritance. It has only one base class and also one derived class. So option B, more than one base, more than one class. So this is an example for the multiple inheritance. So that is the more than one base class it is derived only one derived class. So option C more than one level that is a multi-level inheritance. It has the two or more levels are present here. So that is the multi-level inheritance. So here the derived class it can share the properties from all after above. So option correct option will become all of the 
above. Next question, a class that is not used to create objects and acts as a base class is known as what? Option A, abstract class. Option B, virtual base class. Option C, base class. Option D, derived class. Already, I told that the definitions of an abstract class. So, correct answer will become abstract class. Here, the ab class, abstract class is a one that is not used to create an object and it is also acts as a base class. So that class we can call it as a abstract class. The next question, a class can be derived from another derived class, which is known as what? What by of an inheritance? So options are option A single, option B multi-level, option C multiple, option D hierarchical. The correct answer will become multi-level. So multi-level inheritance, what is a multi-level inheritance? Multi-level inheritance, it is a class. That can also be derived from the classes that is already derived. So that class we can call it as a multi-level inheritance. That is a class can be derived from another derived class which is called multi-level inheritance. It has a three class. For example, it has a three class. The first class it is a base class. Second class it is an intermediate class and third it is a derived class. So that is multi-level inheritance. Next question, if a class is derived from more than one base class, it is called what? Options are option A multi-level, option B multiple, option C hybrid, option D virtual. The correct answer will become multiple. So multiple inheritance which means that it has more than one base class, it is derived only one derived class. So that is called as multiple inheritance. If the class is derived from more than one base class, it is called as multiple inheritance. Eighth question, subclass is also called as what? So already I told the definitions of a subclasses and what is a uh, child class, which is also called as the derived class. The correct uh, option will become option D, derived class. Next question, which of the most not used to inheritance mode? Options are option A, public, option B, private, option C, protected, option D, both A and B. So correct answer will become option B, B private because the private members of a base class cannot be inherited to the derived classes. So that the correct option will become option B private. Next question, abstract class is what? Already previous questions, what is an abstract class is present here. So options will become base class with the object. Option B, derived class. Option C, base class with no object. Option D, subclass. So, correct answer will become option C, base class with no object. That means the abstract class is that one that is not used to create object. But the abstract class is designed only to act as a base class. So, that the correct option will become option C, base class with no object. Thank you. If you like my videos, please do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for the notification of the new videos. Thank you so much.